when you set up and tune your acoustic drum set, you will face various issues. In this video, we want to give you some tips on how to deal with one of them specifically, snare buzz. When tuning your snare, you have to check the tension of your drum head, but also make sure to adjust the snare wires to fit your personal preferences. Make sure to get your snare as sensitive as possible while trying not to choke the rezo head of the drum. When you find the perfect spot for your snare wires, you might hear the snare rattling a lot when playing the other drums as well. The instrument triggering the snare wires the most might be the rack tom right above the snare. This phenomenon is known as snare buzz. So how can you deal with that? There are two drums involved in this instance, so you could work on either one of them to fix the issue. If you are happy with your snare sound, we would recommend you rather work on the tom. A few factors can cause the snares to react. First is the pitch. If the tone of the tom and the snare are similar or closely related, the tom will trigger the snare wires a lot. By tuning the tom to a different pitch, you can decrease the amount of snare buzz. Here's a demonstration where we only change the tuning of one tension rod to change the overall pitch of the tom. Another factor can be the tone length of the tom. A longer tone will also cause snare buzz with a longer sustain. Now we have two options. One is simply muffling the tom and the other one is tuning the bottom head. Both ways will lead you to a shorter tom sound and lower the amount of snare buzz, but they will also affect your tom sound by a lot. Let's hear how the two options influence snare buzz. If this doesn't help you, working on the snare drum will do the trick. We found that the snare buzz is still there even if the batter head of the snare is dampened with a big fat snare drum. This led us to the conclusion that the rezo head has more influence than the batter head regarding snare buzz. A common trick is to lower the tuning on the four tension rods next to the snare wires. Even a quarter turn might do the trick. To show you the effect, we decided to go for a half turn. This really helps getting rid of snare buzz, but also influences the sensitivity of your snare wires a lot. Make sure to keep that in mind when working on your rezo head. All of those ideas will help you with the issue of snare buzz, but will never completely eliminate it. A drum set consists of many different resonating instruments influencing each other. So it's also important to accept the snare buzz as part of your overall drum sound. Also keep in mind that other instruments around you might also cause snare buzz when they hit the same tone your snare drum has. For quiet songs, the best way to prevent your snare from buzzing all the time is turning the snares off when you're not playing or don't need the snare sound. What is your experience with snare buzz and how do you deal with it? Make sure to let us know down in the comments. 